There are going to be days where you do not feel like doing anything. Those days are going to be there no matter what path you take. We have two voices in our mind. There's that one voice. It's that soft motherfucker. That soft motherfucking voice that says sleep the fuck in. It's okay. You can take the day off saying you don't need to go hard. It's that coddling voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit. That voice, that nagging voice of weakness, the one that tells you to back off, to simmer down, to take it easy. When you hear that voice, tell it no. Tell it to sit down and be quiet. Suppress that voice. You've got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life what could you be because that pain that you are feeling is the test this is a test this is the day i'm going to find out if my goals really are my goals michael jordan they call it the flu game he still scored more than the average dude with the flu even when you got the flu and you play other champions you still score more than they score because you've learned how to dominate And you need that same mentality. I'm talking about looking yourself in the mirror, looking yourself in the eye, and saying, I'm going to dominate today better than any other day. Learn how to get excited when that feeling creeps in of, I don't want to do it. And when those test days become something that you live for, something you look forward to, now you're talking about a whole different level of mindset. You're talking about an unstoppable force of nature that cannot be f***ed with. Mental toughness is the ability to resist, to manage, overcome doubt, overcome worries, overcome concerns, overcome circumstances that prevent most people from succeeding or performing under pressure. Every human being that is not successful versus every human being that's successful, the only difference between them is mental toughness. One group, when they come up against trials and tribulations, they shrink. One group of people, when they come up against a recession, they shrink. Weak-minded people, they buckle, they complain, they look for every excuse. But mentally tough people, we saw the storm and we pull on our surfboard and we begin to surf on the waves that drown most people. You have to understand that your greatest commodity Not your shoes, not your car, not your clothes, it's your mind. Your mind is the most important thing you have and you gotta control it. I don't care what's happening, you have to control it. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have a mentality of a champ? Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more. When it's over. When they're tired. When they're frustrated. When they're ready to give up. When they spent their last dime. That's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money. When all your energy gone. That's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way. When you find breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist. When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe. That's when you find a way. Life will knock you between the eyes. It will catch you on the blind side. Come out of nowhere. Stuff you can't anticipate. That will knock the wind out of you. You want to give up. It's going to be very challenging. Whenever you decide that you want to grow, whenever you decide that you want to go to another level, all hell will break loose. It's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times that are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. We all go through problems. They don't have to overwhelm you, though. Problems don't have to take you out, though. Problems will have to make your life miserable, though. Your problem is you go back and run to your safety net. I can't do it. Help. And you're going to be running to it for the rest of your life until you get to a point where you look at life and say, you will not beat me. It's easy to complain. 
It's easy to point out your circumstances. It's easy to talk about what has happened to you. It's easy to talk about your situation, what you're going through. But if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there at a low level. But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, let's. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. Your problem is some of you are phenomenally skilled, but it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. You have something great in you. You can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. It might last for a second. It might last for a minute. It might last for an hour. It might last for a week. It might last for a day. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes, yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. You are great. You are unique. You are special. You are talented. And you deserve to have everything you want. And stop listening to the people who tell you you don't. Kill the noise. What do they know? Who are they? And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. It's too late now. You should have broke me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible, that some of you already know that it's hard, it's not easy, it's hard changing your life, that in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. The opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That you don't have to go through life being a victim. And even though you face disappointments, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. Can live. It's in your mind. 
The mind is a very powerful thing. It has a tactical advantage over you all the time. It knows where you don't want to go. So it will guide you away from that. And that's why the mind will always win. Until you f***ing reprogram it. You got to figure out a way to reprogram your mind to get outside the box. Whatever my mind said I don't want to do, I realize I must do that. The greats do things when they don't always want to. And that's the separation. Without discipline, you're nothing. And discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Because really, the only person that you're fighting every day is yourself. It's not your boss. It's not this or that. Yeah, those are all obstacles. A lot of them, you cannot control those obstacles. But you can control yourself. We have to regain control of our mind. How you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. The only way anything gets accomplished, you got to work hard. I can't remember what the f**k's in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read it again. Still not getting it. Read it again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're going to figure it out because he is not going to stop. To find real permanent peace, you first must go through suffering. You must go to the dark side of who you are. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people, I compete with what I'm capable of. A person that's obsessed and wants to just get there, they don't give a f what the temperature is. They no longer care, because they know no matter what's out there, no matter if it's snowing, if it's a damn tropical storm, if it's 20 below, they don't care, they're gonna run. It doesn't matter what the f**k's out there, what's in front of me, I'm just gonna go. And that's how you wanna get your mind. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently. To build this mindset that when things get hard, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I wanna go. You have to literally visualize the connection between what you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis with what you're wanting. What do you want yourself to look like 10 years from now? What do you want your bank account to look like? What do you want to look like physically six months from now or a year from now? You have to connect the dots. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. If you think that you've given everything, you really have it. If you think you're working hard, you're not working hard enough. You can always do more. You always have another gear, another level of performance. You can always push a little bit harder, get up a little earlier, work a little longer. Whatever it is you want more of, you have complete control over whether you get it or not. People don't have limits. Sometimes. We put limits on ourselves. Horrible things happen to good people. Life isn't fair. And it can be heart-wrenching. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. When challenges and issues come back to back to back to back and it seems like something is after me, something is attacking me, something is attacking my journey look for the lesson in it all you will grow through what you go through the question is are you willing to go through it when those bad things happen what are you going to do are you gonna let this horrible situation dictate the way you feel and the way you handle it. Are you gonna fall over, fall down, fall apart? Or are you going to face this issue with courage and with resolution? You know darkness. So embrace Embrace that darkness. Don't look away from it. Own it. Step up to the challenge, no matter what you face. Start walking.
take that step. Every day, no matter what you are facing, get up and start walking. And never surrender. And remember that even in the most wretched times, when you face darkness yourself, no matter how bad things get, remember not to stop, remember not to pause, remember not to hesitate, remember to put one foot in front of the other, take that first step and start walking. And we will fight. And in fighting, we will win. And if not the battle, and if not the war, we will win because our spirit, it will never surrender. And that is the ultimate victory, to hold your head high. And even in the face of inescapable defeat, to stand and to fight. That is to win. Don't allow yourself a switch off button. I know there's always an answer. No matter how dark that place may be, there's always a way out. Just gotta keep going. Hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith that on the other side of your pain is something good.